Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to do this mask wipe. You're going to need two clips. Um, what you're going to try to do is kind of match either the movement or the scene. Um, in this case, I'm going to try to do both where I've got a picture or this video of this hotel as I'm panning. And then I've also got a aerial picture of flying over the same hotel. You're going to want to record when you're filming an object that wipes across the screen, preferably from right to left. Um, if you're going to do it in the horizontal direction, right to left is the way you want to go. And it needs to cross the entire screen, okay, as you can see here. So, obviously, I did that. I filmed it. It, it took some practice. It's actually not easy to do and get it steady. So, um, once you have that, what you're going to want to do is overlay your secondary image, the one you're going to wipe over to, uh, right below it. So, you're going to want to set that up right when the edge of the object that's going across the screen shows up. So that's how you can see very closely. That's where I've got it. Now, technically, you could actually start it sooner because it's not going to appear in the screen until later. But I just like to line it up exactly where my clip is, exactly the scene that I want to get, and then uh, kind of go from there. Okay. So you're going to want to go into the color tab, the first clip. Um, what you're going to want to do, this is just my, my uh, typical color balance uh, node. And you're going to want to set up what's known as a power window. So you go into uh, your second node, set up a power window, and I usually use the curve. You're going to want to click this to invert it. And then what you want to do is right about the time or right before the the frame that you're going to start the wipe, you're going to want to establish the position of your mask. Okay, so I, I drew this box right here, right before the frame that is going to uh, begin to, to do the wipe. So, so as it transitions, it goes from uh, no object there uh, to an object that uh, coincides with exactly where I want to start to wipe, and what you do is you just set that up and you just basically move it out. So you just extend this out as you go across the screen and you establish keyframes. So you're going to want to set your recorder here and you just keep going out, just moving it out all the way to the end of your clip. Okay. So you can kind of see that there. And then I go to the edge of the clip. The other thing you're going to want to do is in order to reveal the other image, you're going to want to set up an alpha output. So you right click, add alpha output, and then draw a line there. And voila, if you go to the keyframe there, you can see that image. Okay, so one of the things you're going to want to make sure happens, I'm going to set this back to zero actually, so that you can see this. If you notice here, it doesn't look as soft as the, uh, the other edge. So what you can do here is add a little softness to that. Voila, look, it looks very close to uh, this other edge. It looks a lot more natural. So that's all you have to do. Hey, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.